Now, we cannot stress enough that this disaster is far from over. As you can see behind me, so many roads here are impassable. And as we take a live look from the air, from our drone, you can see that water is covering so many roads here in Houston. It's still dark this morning, but elsewhere in the northwest part of town, authorities have released more water from two reservoirs because they want to relieve pressure on the dams there. There, in many parts of this city, there is simply no place for this water to go. One by one, they were plucked, hoisted, and carried to safety. How high did the water come up? Um, it was up to here in my house. Thousands of desperate calls for help to 911. Coast Guard helicopters racing in to save people stranded on rooftops. The agonizing rescues not letting up overnight. Now we can see somebody on the back end of that car. This one unfolding on live television. A man trapped in his car surrounded by raging floodwaters survived. It looks like he was the person who was in that vehicle was and was able to get back out the window. back. That's yes. incredible. Wow. Water seemingly everywhere. Throughout the whole house. Your chest? Yep, to my chest. Both cars in the garage up to the steering wheel. So we've lost everything. Children uh, using anything to stay afloat. The National Guard on the move. Hundreds of water rescues are underway in the suburban Houston neighborhood. Residents here say they've never seen anything like it. No, I haven't. I've been in this area my whole life. Houston's no stranger to flooding. In 2015, a Memorial Day disaster racked up almost half a billion dollars in damages. Last year, the city led the U.S. in flood-related deaths, mostly due to an April storm that claimed eight lives. But this morning, rivers are rising to unprecedented levels. And there's no levee designed to prevent an 800-year flood. So why is the Bayou City so vulnerable? It's low-lying with many creeks and rivers, and development here has exploded. Professor Sam Brody has studied Houston's floods for years, but Harvey left him stranded at his own home for the first time. The human development is what's really driving uh, and exacerbating flood losses over time. His research found the Houston area has added 25% more pavement over 15 years, replacing soil-rich wetlands that could absorb water with concrete-covered suburbia. Well, we got too much concrete, I think, is what part of the problem is. The water doesn't have any place to go when something like this happens. So. As we take another live look from the air, you can see all that water. It's still dark outside, but Houston may be prone to flooding. However, it wasn't prepared for something like this. This is truly unprecedented. The city of Houston had actually set aside about $130 million earlier this year to alleviate flooding along some bayous, but experts say that's just not enough. This metro area is expected to add about 100,000 people every year. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.